you're gonna be a superhero. Like that's what it is. You're a superhero, especially little kids. Like they see you jumping in there, dunking, and like getting hype and doing all this other stuff, blocking shots. It's like shooting lasers out your eyes to them or flying. Like people think you're immortal. It's powerful. Cause you looked up to somebody like that that was like Superman, so you know how it feels. There's not a day that you don't hear about going to the league. I mean, somebody's always gonna be like right next to you saying something about it or like the fans are talking about it or, oh, you're gonna go number one or you're gonna go number five. In three years, I've heard all, I've heard, I've heard all the numbers, like one through 25. So a lot of it's working on your mental game. I got a lot of people that look up like, dang, like you made it out, but like you didn't change. I'm just a regular person that happened to have a unique set of skills that big in the world. Since Cali, been living out of a suitcase. Sacramento to Denver, to New York, to Charlotte, Orlando, now Miami. They fly you out, take you to dinner, ask you a bunch of questions, try to get to know you a little bit, and then you work out and then on to the next place. 10.30, we start testing. There's a set of six blocks. They show you a picture of the blocks and you have to remember the, the design on them. And you have to, and then you're like time to see how fast you can like do it. And it's like, they probably give you like 10 of those and you have to do it and they get harder and harder. And then they do like a full like medical examination. And then after that, they like warm you up and then you'll do like flexibility tests, strength tests. Then you get on the court. It's just a process, it's a grind. You don't have a home. Like I didn't see my family. I just packed up all my stuff and shipped it to LA and then pack it all back up and send it to wherever. That's the worst part. You have no idea where you're going to be. How the workouts is it going? They said Phoenix and Miami is the worst workouts. They make you run the whole time. We did in uh, Phoenix, we did one on one full court, two on two full, and three on three full, and then we ran. That's all we did. You garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy, boy. We getting tatted today. Bruh. Yep. All right, whatever. Like, <laughs> Timmy B. I was a little boy that, like, I had met him through a couple people and then just got close with him. This dude had brain cancer for three years. So he's been battling for three years and he always had a smile on his face. And he just passed away, like, a couple weeks ago. That was like my little brother. Like, you got a little kid that looks up to you like Superman. You know, a kid that was seven years old and he didn't get a chance to do none of the stuff I get to do. Team Blake, I want everybody to see how important Blake was to me. I guess my little soldier. That kind of drives me now. People's minds are so strong. People's like willpower is so strong. Shooting 20 jumpers in three years, and I probably shot the majority of them this year. And then you go into a workout and they want to like know how consistent it is. And you make 20 out of 25 and they're like, well shit, like he can really shoot the ball. And now, like, everybody's kind of like, is this what he's going to be in the league? Like, can he shoot like this in the league? Is he going to be able to, like, if he can do this, like, this just changes the whole dynamics of his game. Well, that's work. Like, that's what the league's about. I have the work ethic. I have, like, the mindset. I have the, the motives, like, to, to do whatever I want. And that's, like, what's special about it. It's like, I have a chance to revolutionize the game. Got to New York last night from Miami. About seven cities in a week and a half. All right, draft in two days. Yeah, it's, I mean, mentally draining and physically draining. I mean, all my friends and family's like coming in. I haven't seen them for like ever. I haven't seen my grandparents and my mom forever. Drafts in 48 hours and I'm like, 
lives is, lives is gonna be changed. Like, I really believe that.